Hey guys, Treyarch released a huge update today for Black Ops 4. It's version 1.04 and it's almost 11 gigabytes. The update is available for PS4 and Xbox One and it's going to be available tomorrow for PC. They patched and fixed a lot of stuff and changed a few things as well and they were talking about how they were going to be increasing the hardcore and realistic difficulties XP and they finally did it with this update. It says that they increased XP earn rate for hardcore and realistic difficulties. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how much you earn based on headshots, body shots, melee with one, two, three, and four players for all versions, classic, hardcore, and realistic. The XP for realistic mode got beefed up quite a bit, so it's definitely worth at least trying to play that mode. So there's four modes that you can earn XP in. There's casual, normal, hardcore, and realistic. The difference with hardcore is that you lose 50 health. So you're down to 150 health versus the 200 in normal. And on realistic, you only have 50 health. So it's one hit and you're down. Also, the health of the zombies have increased in realistic mode. On round one, it takes three melee to kill one. So again, I went in and tested how much XP you get for every different version of killing a zombie based on the different modes and how many players you have in your game game. The lowest amount of XP that you can get is 31 and the highest is 142 and this is based on per kill. I'll show you guys a breakdown of what I'm talking about here. So I went into a game and I meleeed a zombie and that's how you get the most XP from one kill. I first tested it on solo and then I tested it on classic, hardcore, and realistic. So if you are solo and just in regular mode, one melee is going to get you 63 XP. On hardcore mode, you're going to get 78 and realistic 90 four XP for one melee kill in solo. So each time you increase the difficulty, you're going to be earning about 15 to 16 extra XP. Here's the stats for a two player lobby. So with two players in classic mode, if you melee a zombie, you're going to get 75 XP. If you're in hardcore mode, you're going to get 93 and then realistic 112. And right here you can see how it's starting to really increase from classic to hardcore. That is an 18 XP difference. And then from hardcore to realistic, it gets a 19 XP difference. We'll have a look here at a three player lobby. So meleeing one zombie in classic mode with three players is going to get you 80 XP and then hardcore 100 and realistic 120. And with three players, you can see how much the XP increases from classic to hardcore. It will give you 20 extra XP and then hardcore to realistic gives you another extra 20 XP. Now we'll have a look at the four player lobby and this is where you can earn the most XP. So classic four player lobby, one melee, one zombie, 95 XP. Then on hardcore four player lobby, you get an extra 23 XP. So you'll get 118 total. Then on realistic, it'll add 24 XP to that and give you 142 XP for one melee kill. And that's more than like having double XP if you're just on solo classic. So I just wanted to really closely look at the breakdown of if you melee a zombie in the different types of game modes and also with the different number of players. Now I'll show you guys a chart that I made that shows all the different amounts of XP that you can earn based on the amount of players that are in your game, how you're killing them, and then what mode you're on. So meleeing definitely gets you the most XP and I've got that up at the top. And headshots is just a little bit under that and then body shots, that's where you get the least XP. So the most XP you can earn is a four player lobby meleeing a zombie in realistic mode for 142 XP. The lowest amount of XP that you can earn is 31 and that is killing a zombie with a body shot and classic mode with one player. A good method for leveling up quickly might be, yeah, go into realistic mode, put bots on if you have to, to make it a four player lobby and melee as much as you can. I've tested out some of the special weapons that you can put in your loadout, like the flamethrower, the death machine, the Ragnaroks, and the Path of Sorrows, which is Takio's Katana. Obviously, the flamethrower and death machine will not give you any kind of melee kill XP, but the Path of Sorrows will. The Ragnaroks do not give you melee XP. It doesn't count is that and I don't know about the chaos story weapons I have not tried those out yet but I'm assuming that the hammer of Valhalla will probably give you melee XP but if you want to get the most XP and it might be a little bit tough but yeah get the path of sorrows the katana and jump into a four-player realistic match but I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video thank you for watching glitching Queen's video Oorah!